I will be continuing with part 2 of uh, the practice session for IC 12 mathematics. So here we can see that uh, whatever is given is the constant. Okay. Given is the constant and what we assume these are the variables. Now in this question radius is given R that is uh, the radius of the semicircle. So uh, I can take this this as r with one of its sides on the diameter of the circle now i will have to assume the length uh, sorry the breadth let's assume the breadth is equal to x right so this will be x and this will be x 90 degree all sides are right angles okay for a uh, rectangle now by Pythagoras this will be under root of r square minus x square so um, this part I see this part is under root of r square minus x square so length is equal to under root of r square minus x square now uh, we have to Find the dimensions of the rectangle to get maximum area. Whatever is given in maximum or minimum, we will have to write the formula of that. So, this will be A is equal to length into breadth. That will be 2x under root of r square minus x square. See, the length will be 2 under root of r square minus x square. Since this is the length. This part was r square minus x, uh, under root of r square minus x square. This was also under root of r square minus x square. So this will be the length. Area. Now uh, we have to differentiate it with respect to x. Because x is uh, what we have assumed. And it is a variable. Right. Now dA by dx will be equal to. We will apply product rule here. So I have taken two outside. x into differentiation of under root of x square minus r square minus x square that will be 1 by 2 under root of r square minus x square into minus 2x since r is given it is a constant plus under root of r square minus x square into d by dx of x that is equal to 1 got it after solving we will get 2 into x square divided by under root of r square minus x square plus under root of r square minus x square. So x into minus x here it is minus x square okay. So this will be 2 into minus 2x square plus r square divided by under root of r square minus x square. For maximum or minimum you have to put this equal to 0. That means dA by dx equal to 0. So I will write this whole 2 into minus 2 x square plus r square divided by under root of r square minus x square equal to 0. That means minus 2 x square plus r square is equal to 0. So r square is equal to 2 x square. Taking root on both sides, square root on both sides you will get this. That means x is equal to r by root 2. You can also find out the breadth, uh, sorry, the length. That will be equal to root 2r. How can you find the length? By this formula. Right? 2 under root of r square minus x square. Put the value of x and you will also get the length. So, breadth, that is x is equal to this and length is equal to this. Now we have to also uh, show that it is maximum area. For that you have to find out d2a by dx square. When you uh, evaluate it, you will get it less than 0. If it is less than 0, then it is proved that the area is maximum. Maximum area. So these were the st uh, steps and this is how you will gain 6 marks in this question. Please 
go according to the steps that I have shown above. Using properties of determinants, you have to solve for x. Find out the value of x, right? Uh, now, in this case, I can see that uh, C1 can be written as C1 plus C2 plus C3. You will get common. This will be X plus A plus B plus C. X plus A plus B plus C equal to 0. Okay. Now, we can take X plus A plus B plus C common from first column. So, we are left with 1, 1, 1, b, x plus b, b, x plus c will be 0. Now I can do r1 is r1 minus r2 and r2 as r2 minus r3. Our main aim is to make 0 so that it becomes easy to find out the determinant. After applying the row operations, you will get 1, B, C, 1, X, A minus C, and sorry, it is 0, 0, 0, X, right, equal to 0. Then, operating, uh, expanding by C1, C1, because it has the maximum zeros, you will you'll have to expand it uh, from the place where zeros are maximum x plus a plus b plus c into 1 you have to leave the row and the column this will be x square minus 0 equal to 0 so x plus a plus b plus c multiply x square is equal to 0 that means x plus a plus b plus c is equal to 0 become 0 x is equal to minus a plus b plus See, this is the answer. I am giving you a question. You have to uh, find out the values of x, y and z, the given uh, by Martin's rule. You can comment it down because this question comes every year. See, you have to uh, take a is equal to 2 minus 3, the coefficients of x, y, and z. 2 minus 3, 5, 3, 2 minus 4, 1, 1 minus 2. And x is equal to x, y, z. b is equal to 11 minus 5 and minus 3. Right? You know what you have to do. You have to first find out the determinant of A. If it is uh, not equal to 0, that means A is non-singular and its inverse exists. Then we have to find out A inverse. Use it in X equals to A inverse B. Okay, a question again. Sin X dy by dx minus y is equal to sin x tan x by 2 pause the video try it out okay the solution see you can write it like dy by dx minus y by sin x equal to tan x by 2 i have divided this whole equation by sin x right you can identify this form now it is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q now p here is equal to minus 1 by sin x and q is equal to tan x by 2 how to find out the integrating factor e to the power p dx integration right e to the power 1 by minus 1 by sin x dx this will be e to the power integration of minus cosec x dx equal to e to the power integration of 
so this is a uh, uh, minus cosec x it will be log tan x by 2 you don't have to write the integration sign e to the power minus log tan x by 2 i can write it e to the power log tan x by 2 so 1 by you have the formula so it will be tan x by 2 that is equal to cot x by 2 right integrating factor is cot x by 2 now the required equation will be y into cot x by 2 because we have to write y into integrating factor equal to integration of uh, if that is cot x by 2 into tan x by 2 that is q dx right y into if is equal to integration of if into q dx so this will be y into cot x by 2 equal to you can write cot x by 2 as 1 by tan x by 2 it will get cancelled you will get integration of 1 uh, dx that is equal to x itself y into cot x by 2 equal to x plus c right so this was the solution now this is the question limit 1 plus sin x whole to the power cot x i have taken it equal to y i have to solve it right taking log on both sides yes i have taken log so log m to the power n can be written as n log m i have written it here log y equal to limit x tends to 0 cot x can be written as 1 by tan x now this is of 0 by 0 form applying l hospital rule you can do log y equal to limit x tends to 0 differentiation d by dx numerator d by dx denominator this will be 1 by 1 plus sin x into 0 plus cos x right and this will be sec square x that means log y is equal to limit x tends to 0 1 that is cos x by 1 plus sin x divided by this can be written as 1 by cos square x cos x into cos x cancelled log y is equal to limit x tends to 0 cos x by 1 plus sin x now cos 0 putting the value cos 0 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus sin 0 that is 1 that means log y is equal to 1 so the value of y will be e to the power 1 that is equal to e this is the answer thank you for watching the video in case you have any doubt regarding any question or any chapter you can comment it down i will try to help you out uh, if you have problem in any chapter, you are not able to understand the concepts or you are not able to solve the question, I will make a very short crash course video of that. Thank you for watching this video. All the best for your board examination.